How's it going, fam? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and today we are doing the full review after three years of use with the Knipex Cobra pliers, the five inch little guys. This is the second to smallest pair. The model number is 8701125 which would be right there, but it is completely worn out, so I pulled it up on Amazon. These retail for about 27 bucks, give or take, and I have had these for three years, been using them just about every single day, as you can tell, and you guys asked for a full review, so we are doing it. So yeah, the model number would have been right there, but it's basically completely worn away. You can see a little bit of the 8 and the 7, but otherwise it's toasted. Made in Germany, which it's also supposed to say right there, but that's gone. <laughs> but these are basically just some little tiny 5-inch um, pocket pliers, the Cobra style from Knipex. And they're water pump pliers, but I have found them to be absolutely unstoppable in the EDC world. These are my favorite, favorite pliers of all time. I love them. So, let's do a little bit of background story. Let's get into the nitty-gritty of these bad boys. I've had them for about three years. I initially got them when I was working in a job where I was working in a warehouse. I was doing maintenance mechanic work, and it was like a really blue-collar job where we were working on heavy-duty commercial machinery. And I was really looking for something that I could get a better grip on bolts and nuts and um, stuck parts with because the pliers that I have always relied on, the Victorinox Spirit X pliers, um, they just weren't cutting it with certain jobs. And before these, I had the Leatherman Wave, but I found that the Wave was really heavy I hated that I was constantly breaking the bits, so I tried to find kind of a higher quality multi-tool, and I went to the Victorinox Spirit X, but I did find that at least in that maintenance mechanic job, the needle nose were actually hindering my use a little bit with certain tasks. I wasn't able to get as much surface coverage with these needle nose as I could with something like this. And... I figured um, I would just, you know, swap these out, try to run these type of pliers for a little while in conjunction with some sort of Swiss Army knife, and uh, that's how I built kind of my new multi-tool set. So this duo here replaces this. Um, and obviously pl these pliers saved my butt many times when I was doing the maintenance mechanic job. We were working on, um, like I said, giant commercial mixers and oil machines that pumped large amounts of oil out of drums and, um, just a lot of heavy duty work. And these little guys never came in contact with a job that they could not do. So these, you press this button and you can open these jaws up quite a fair amount. I'm not exactly sure uh, how much space this is giving you. I, I should have looked that up. I don't know. It's looking like an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters maybe. Um, a good amount of space, though, for, for a little tiny set of pliers like this, you're getting a massive amount of coverage if you open these to full capacity. And these pliers are really cool because as you turn them, depending on which way you set them up on what you're working on, they really lock onto the item and you just get an insane amount of grip and leverage with these pliers. They're very well executed. I got the ones with the teeth, obviously, but you can opt out of those and just get the um, the flat ones that would not mar whatever you're working on. So if you're worried about destroying uh, the, the items that you come in contact with, you can actually get these with um, just the completely flat jaws. 
but I was working on some pretty rugged stuff, so I got the ones with the little teeth. These have served me wonderfully. I really like them. Um, so they're very small. They're, they're, you know, five inches long. There is a, a size below this that's even smaller. I think they're maybe like four or three inch, but, um, they don't have the rubber handles and it just seemed a little too small for me. This is like the perfect size for if you actually want to do some hard work, but you want a small pocketable size. The, the size below is just like too small and I feel like there's nothing even to grab onto, but I really liked that these had the, the grip on them. Nice and small, but still fully capable. I did end up purchasing, after quite a while, this Lynch Northwest and Redeemed Creations sheath. You can get this on lynchnorthwest.com. It's like 20 bucks, and this is specifically made for these little tiny pliers. But um, what I found after a while was, depending on what pocket I put these into in my pants, sometimes they opened up when I was kneeling down, and then if I went to move, they would like pinch my skin through my pants. So I did end up purchasing this little sheath. And, it, you know, it, it literally does not add any weight. It's just like a really nice leather slip. These go right in here. It's completely molded to the pliers now, but um, this really helps because now they don't open up in my pocket. It also does help keep debris out of the, the moving parts and stuff. There is a small spring back here, a removable spring for that button lock, and um, it the sheath does help keep sand and grit out of that little spring area, which is also really helpful. So um, I would... I would recommend the sheath. I've been testing this for a very long time as well. Not the full three years. This was a more recent purchase, but obviously well used, well loved. I've had this in the pocket since I think this summer. So four months, maybe something like that. They have different colors. They have um, a darker leather, like a like a chocolatey leather. You can get um, different stitching it's, it's cool. I went with the red because it matches the handle. I just thought that was kind of neat. I think this looks really nice. But yeah, this is the full package. So uh, 20 bucks for the sheath. Not sure. Um, probably like five bucks for shipping. And then um, you can get these on Amazon for like 27 bucks, probably free shipping. So a really nice little set to put in your EDC rotation. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I pair the pliers with a Swiss Army knife. So this is the Victorinox Super Tinker, and this is my multi-tool of choice that I put with the pliers because I feel that I have a really wide range of use with these two. Um, this has a, a bunch of really useful stuff, but nothing that I don't need per se. So... These together just make an awesome duo. Let's go over the pros and the cons of these pliers. Not that there really are any cons. I, I'm actually unsure if there are any at all, but we'll bring back the Victorinox Spirit X just for a comparison here to like a normal multi-tool. So um, the pros are you get way more surface coverage with the Cobras. Now, obviously, like, pick the right tool for the job. But I'm just saying, if you're a general user of pliers and you don't necessarily need needle nose, these Cobras give you way more surface coverage. So these jaws are, come on, focus. They're flat and you have more width here on that head as opposed to that really precise tip. So if you don't need precision all the time and you just kind of need to get a grip on things physically, <laughs> um, these are really great. I also like that you just, in general, again, get a better grip with the design of these pliers. Um, obviously, when you go into a, a full-blown multi-tool like this, you are going to be making compromises in terms of like, yes, this is a pair of pliers, but it also has a whole bunch of other things in it, so you're compromising, you know, how much grip you get and um, how they feel in hand and how durable these plier head, you know, the plier head actually is 
and how good of a grip you can get. All of that stuff is like, you know, mildly compromised because this is a multi-tool and it's not a dedicated pair of pliers. But when you get into something like this, because it is just a pair of pliers, um, it's, it's just absolutely perfection. I feel that the um, steel that they use for this is hardened way more than the head on these. Like, you can easily strip these teeth out if you're not careful, and the steel is just a little softer because it's not meant for hard use, per se, but these are literally water pump pliers, so these are, like, indestructible. Um, and like I said, depending on how you grip the item, you when you're putting pressure on the, the handle, it literally tightens and it just does not let go. Um, and obviously these jaws are really designed to grip any type of bolt. So you just get a little more versatility with this specific type of plier head as opposed to this really slimline, elegant, uh, precision-based plier. Also, the grip, super comfortable. These are pretty slippery. This is just um, satin-finished steel here. On these, you get the nice rubbery grip that has not worn off at all. It hasn't ripped it. Um, these don't, like, slide off or anything. Just really durable. Um, also way less bulky, so easier to maneuver in your hand. This is kind of a, a, a heavier set to to work with so sometimes it can be a little cumbersome to move around you know multiple ounces of gear all at once just to use the pliers so again if you're if you're someone who really uses pliers in your everyday um tasks but you can differentiate your pliers from the rest of your multi-tool this this may be the way to go it's way less cumbersome than that and the total weight of these two together in comparison to this is again less so if you don't need specifically this you can just toss that aside and make a little pairing with the knipix and some type of uh, swiss army knife and you can get the same capabilities but like way more purchase on your items with these you don't have that extra weight. And this is also, this is completely customizable, right? So you can choose whatever Swiss Army knife you want. If you don't need a super tinker with scissors and a can opener and two blades and a parcel hook and a reamer, if you don't need all that crap, you can choose a cadet. You could, you, you could choose a Spartan. You can choose whatever you want and decrease that weight even more and completely customize this setup. So I'm, I'm really a huge fan of these. I can't think of any cons, to be honest. Um, obviously, you know, like I said, they're $27, and when I bought them, I think they were like $20, $21. So the price has gone up a little bit, but everything's inflated. Um, they're very good quality. Uh, typically speaking, things that are coming out of Germany are well-made. Um, I have beaten the pulp out of these. They have been dropped in oil They've been used in a mixer that was mixing, like, flaxseed and kelp together and just completely covered in crap. Um, they just never failed. They, they've been used in water. I, I don't know of any rust on these at all. I think that's just, like, a little something, a little gunk, but no rust. Um, they're just... I can't really, I can't really think of any cons, to be honest, guys. I mean, they're, they're just irreplaceable, and I carry them every day, and they are fantastic for all EDC tasks. I mean, I've even pulled porcupine quills, I just said that weird, porcupine quills out of a dog's face with these, because yet again, you get a better purchase than something like this, you know? This is hard to grab a quill with because it's already so skinny. With these, you have a lot of surface area, so you don't have to pay as much attention. You can just kind of grab and pull. Um, 
yeah, I've had these in my pocket when my dogs got quilled in the face. Uh, you know, just a few quills and you can pluck them right out with these. Just a lot of random tasks that you wouldn't think of. Um, one time I, when I was in landscaping, I got covered in thorns. I was able to pull these out of my pocket and pull the thorns out of my pants because the, my little Swiss Army knife tweezers just, there's no way that these would have cut it. These are really, um, like, not good for anything other than splinter pulling, and that's even a little far-fetched. They're just too flimsy. These are more like to grab a stray eyebrow hair or something, but you can really pull some shit out with these. Um, yeah, I cannot think of any cons. I, I cannot recommend these enough, and I genuinely love this duo together. I carry it every single day. I haven't really found anything that beats it. I really haven't. And this Swiss Army Super Tinker just covers all of my bases. It has the reamer, parcel hook, Phillips. We have a pin in there. Toothpick, tweezers, can opener and bottle opener, wire stripper, flathead, scissors, large blade, small blade. I mean, this is like the ultimate duo here. So... These just go into their little leather slip, and this lives in this tail of knives. Small pocket organizer, and these both just slip right down into my pocket, my right pocket. And yeah, that's kind of like my, the basis of my carry. Um, you can put really any size uh, Swiss Army knife in here, like the leather will stretch for larger ones. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily push this particular model past something like the Super Tinker, one of these like three layers. Uh, this, this one really stretched the leather out quite a bit and I don't think it can stretch anymore, but you know, um, you could put like a two layer in there from the get go and it wouldn't be so stretched out. Um, got a little pen in there as well, and then I have my flashlight, so yeah, um, this is a really good setup for me, like I said, I've been running this for quite some time, All, obviously subject to change, I'm always um, fiddling around with new carry options and different ways of doing things, but so far for multiple months consecutively, this really has worked for me, and especially these pliers for, you know, going on three years, they, they've just been irreplaceable. So, um, yeah, that's kind of my, my carry with a pocket knife or two. Um, hopefully you guys will try it out and enjoy it. I know that this is a review that you guys have been looking forward to for quite some time, but, um, yeah, this is definitely a a carry that works really well for me. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're going to try out those little pliers. Uh, you can literally get them basically anywhere. They also have larger sizes, so if you feel that the 5 inch is a little too small, you could always go with the, um, the 6 inch. They've got, I think they've got, you know, almost every size really. But yeah, let me know if you try them out. Let me know if you run a system like this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I really can't say anything bad about these, and I highly recommend them, especially with the slip from Lynch Northwest. Have a good day, guys. Go use your shit. I will see you on the next video, and I love you all very much. Peace.